In this video, we'll show you how to test the 1939 data link on a Thomas built Safety Liner C2 school bus. Testing of the data link is necessary when you're troubleshooting a network problem or a module not working correctly. To test the data link, you'll need the tools seen here. Prior to starting, apply the parking brake, turn the engine off, and chalk the tires. First, we must check the electrical resistance of the data link. To obtain an accurate reading, the batteries must be disconnected and the ignition turned off prior to measuring any electrical resistance. Switch your multimeter to the ohm section. Locate the diagnostic connector located under the dash and insert the multimeter probes into pins C and D. The reading should be within 6 ohms of 60 ohms. If this is the case, the data link backbone is intact, both terminating resistors are installed, and there is no problem with the harness. However, if the reading is within 12 ohms of 120 ohms, then either one of the terminating resistors is missing, one of the terminating resistors is open, or the circuit may be open anywhere between the terminating resistors. If the reading is within 4 ohms of 40 ohms, then three terminating resistors have been installed and one must be removed. If there is a reading of 0 to 5 ohms, then there is a short between the J1939 positive and J1939 negative wires. If there is a reading greater than 1000 ohms, then there is likely an open circuit between the diagnostic connector and the J1939 backbone. It may also be that both terminating resistors are missing or open. If any incorrect reading is discovered, then that problem must be repaired prior to continuing the test. Reconnect the batteries and turn the ignition switch on to test other components of the data link. To test the voltage, begin by switching your multimeter to the DC voltage section. Insert the negative or black probe into pin A of the diagnostic connector for a ground. Insert the positive or red probe into pin B. Of this will show the current battery voltage and it should be 12.5 volts or higher in order to continue. Connect the positive probe in pin C and the negative probe in pin A, the ground. The voltage should be between 2.0 volts and 3.5 volts. Keeping the negative probe in pin A, move the positive probe to pin D. The reading should now read between 1.0 volts and 2.5 volts. If the readings were in this range, then the modules are working properly. If the reading is greater than the range, for example 12.2 volts, then you have a module that is shorted to power internally. 